Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a program using if else construct to display profit or loss on the screen based on the uh, cost price and selling price. If the uh, amount is a profit amount, then you are going to display the profit amount as well as the profit percentage. If it is a loss, you are going to display the loss amount uh, along with the loss percentage. So you are going to see the question. Input the cost price and selling price of an article. So you are going to input two uh, values which will be cost price and selling price. First you are going to check whether both are same. Selling price equal to cost price. If it is so then you are going to display neither profit nor loss. That is a message you are going to display. Suppose if it is not equal you are going to check whether the selling price is greater than the cost price. If it is so you are going to display the profit amount as well as the profit percentage. If the selling price is lesser than the cost price, then you are going to display the loss amount as well as the loss percentage. So we are going to see how to write the program for this. So in BlueJ, I have created a program with the class name Profit Loss. In the first line, you can see import Java dot util dot scanner. So it includes the uh, scanner class into the program, which is of uh, which is under Java util package. Now inside uh, the profit loss class I created a public static void main function okay, where I created a uh, statement which is used to create an object for scanner class so that you can accept the values. So scanner is equal to new scanner system.in which is used to uh, create a scanner object to get the input. Then I got uh, uh, integer variables like CP and SP is nothing but the cost price and selling price and also the profit and loss. So you are going to check the cost price and selling price and you are going to uh, determine whether it is a profit or a loss, you are going to store it in that. And also the percentage has been declared as double because uh, you may get some decimal value. So I decided to use a double data type. So P percentage that is profit percentage and L percentage is loss percent. So you are going to uh, store the percentage in these two variables. Now first, line, first thing is you are going to input the uh, values of cost price and selling price. So system out print you are going to see uh, enter the cost price of the article. So CP equal to SE dot next in. So you are going to get the first token that is the value uh, which will be stored under uh, into the variable CP that is the cost price. And next enter the selling price of the article. Here you are going to store the input that is a number which will be stored under uh, under variable SP that is the selling price. Now first thing is according to the question you are going to check whether both are equal. So you are going to use this statement if SP equal to equal to CP that is selling price equal to equal to cost price that means it is same. Then you are going to display system or print line neither profit nor loss that means it is neither profit or loss. So you are going to display that and you are going to stop. If suppose if it is not equal if it is uh, not uneven that is unequal then you are going to go for the else part. Okay, so in else, uh, if you are going to use a condition statement that is SP is greater than uh, CP, that is selling price is greater than cost price. So uh, say if the selling price is greater than cost price, obviously it is a profit, right? So you have to store profit equal to SP minus CP. So selling price minus cost price, the amount whatever you are going to get will be stored in profit, and the profit percentage is found with the formula a formula like this: profit into hundred. Uh, divided by the cost price. So that is the uh, uh, profit percentage. So that will be stored in uh, P percent. And you are going to display both on the screen and because you are going to, uh, if it is true, you are going to display it and then you are going to stop the program. So here itself, you are going to display the output. So profit and then you are going to use the variable profit here. And system out print and profit percentage and you are going to display P percent, okay, which stores the profit percent. If suppose both are wrong, then you are going to go for the, the final else if statement that is uh, checking the uh, selling price is lesser than the cost price. If it is so, then obviously it is a loss. So you have to store uh, loss equal to CP minus SP. So cost price minus selling price, the amount will be stored in loss. And uh, loss percentage will be stored in L, per L percentage, L percent uh, with the formula loss into 100 divided by cost price okay so the amount will be 
uh, stored in L percent. Now you are going to display both the loss as well as the L percent on the screen. Okay, so you are going to compile this. So no syntax error. So you are going to execute the program. Okay. Now I am going to enter the cost price. Eh? I am going to enter two thousand. Selling price is also two thousand. Now you can see that uh, since both cost price and selling price is two thousand, it is displaying neither profit nor loss. So I am going to execute it again. Now I am going to give uh, uh, cost price as one thousand eight hundred, and selling price is two thousand five hundred. Now you can see profit amount is seven hundred, and profit percentage is thirty eight percent. Okay, so it will be displayed, and then finally I am going to give executing it again. I am going to give say two thousand five hundred as the cost price. But selling price is only one thousand six hundred. Okay. Now, if I enter, you can see it is a loss. So the loss amount is nine hundred, and the loss percentage is thirty six percent. So this is how you are going to uh, display it on the screen. Hope you understood this program. Uh, we'll meet you in the next video. Till then, thank you.